What's up everyone? My name is Luke and have I got a game for you, depending of course on how you are as a person. If you're a bookish kind of person who wants to see the community thrive and you're looking for a reason to get out of the house and have small adventures, then yeah, this is the game for you. This is the author game. What you do, and it's super easy, you have so much control and flexibility in here that you can make the game as easy or as hard as you want. Step one, pick an author. Pick an author you like. Um, for me, I picked Stephen King because he's one of my favorite novelists ever. And he has a lot of books. They were printed in great numbers. They should be easy to find. Step two, pick an edition. For me, it was very easy. The only rules that I put on my book collection regarding edition was that the stand needed to be complete and uncut and Desperation and the Regulators needed to have matching covers. But outside of that, I didn't care if they were first editions, 32nd editions, I didn't care if they were UK, US, I didn't care what the cover was. My requirements were that they were hardcover with a dust jacket in good condition. Bing, bang, boom, super easy. I didn't even care if they were book club editions because a lot of times with Stephen King, book club editions are lighter and smaller and easier to carry around, especially if you're bringing them to work to read or out to lunch to read or whatever. <sighs> so you gotta pick your edition. Step one, pick an author. Step two, pick your edition. Step three, start hitting up used bookshops or library sales. I know it's very tempting to pick the author in the edition and then go to Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist or Goodwill or Salvation Army or Charity Shops. Don't do it. Part of this, for me, when I started putting this little game together, was that I wanted to support the book community. And I wanted to support that by way of library sales and secondhand bookshops because secondhand bookshops are well, they're just the best. I mean, new bookshops are great. There's a there's a smell to them, and they're usually very clean, and the ambiance is usually super awesome. I could spend hours in a new bookshop. But new bookshops don't usually pull from an author's backlist, and in my case, they certainly don't pull hardcovers from it. So your best bet would be at used bookshops. But also, you would spend less money. The books are used. But also, even though you're spending less money, the dollars that you are putting toward the shop are going to be appreciated more. So because I want these bookshops to thrive, even in my limited ability, they're going to appreciate the dollars that I put forward. And that's what you do. So for me, like my own rules, you could flex this however you like, but like there's a heavy emphasis on trying to keep the community, this bookish community, alive. And that does not involve garage sales or goodwill. Like, that's not that's not book. You know? But, you know, you do you you do you. You have a good time. So author edition, start hunting down stuff at uh, used bookshops or library sales. What you will find, if you're anything like me and you lived in just a literary wasteland is that you will exhaust your immediate resources immediately. The bookshop, my only used bookshop, had one Stephen King book that was filed under Bachman because they didn't know that Richard Bachman and Stephen King are the same person. They wouldn't have stocked it if they did know it. They didn't have a romance section unless, they told me when I asked them if they had a romance section, Unless I was interested in a Christian romance. And when I said that's not the kind of threesome I'm interested in reading about, they did not like that joke. They were very strict about being faithful, which, you know, fine. But they didn't have my books. So when you burn out that resource, you have to expand. And what I found was that I would get on Google Maps and I would look for used bookshops and then I would drive. And I would take day trips to do so. I would bring the kids if they wanted to come. If they didn't want to come, that's fine too. And I would just go. And along the way, I would have fun. I would see new things. Eventually, I went to Savannah, Georgia, because they have a lot of really high quality used bookshops. And these bookshops are on the Riverwalk. You know what else is on the Riverwalk? 
candy stores where they make fresh pralines. And I don't know if you've ever had fresh pralines, but they're very tasty. Would I go to Savannah just to get pralines? No. But I would go to Savannah to get Stephen King books. And while I was there, it would be awful of me to ignore the fresh pralines. So yeah, I would pick some up. And it's these little adventures. I would walk along the river walk. I would soak up the day, the ambiance. I would have lunch and then I would drive back. It's fun, you know, like these are good times. Also, when COVID hit, I was very adamant about the isolation policies. And as the isolation policies began to be lifted, I struggled with the idea of getting back to a normal world. It, it felt very unsafe. Um, eventually, I felt like I needed a, a reason to do it. And this was, this was the best thing that I could come up with. This was the reason to get out of the door and go see people and experience, you know, socializing again. And it turned out to be a lot of fun, not only for because you're going out and you're tracking this stuff down, and there is a lot of satisfaction when you find a book that's on your list that you need, and, you know, here it is. You can buy it, and it's great. You could add it to, to the collection, you could strike it off your list. There's a lot of fun to that. But I also enjoy just talking to bookshop owners or whoever was working the counter and telling them, like, hey, I'm looking for Stephen King books, because I'm putting together a library of all of his stuff that was ever issued in, in hardcover, because sometimes they had stuff in the back, but sometimes they just wanted to talk about it. Stephen King, you know, a very popular author, and they wanted to talk about their experiences with Stephen King, which is cool because I love to talk about my experiences with Stephen King. But other people do the same thing. There's a bookshop in Macon called The Golden Bough. Great bookshop. And he said that Stephen King is the most popular author that he's seen people do this with. So I'm not alone in this pursuit. The second most popular that he's seen is Anne Rice. Uh, and then there are other authors. Michael Crichton jumps to mind. Uh, but you could easily see John Grisham, Thomas Harris. If you were bent on romance... I would do Talia Hibbert, or Lisa K. Adams, or Chloe Lee's, all amazing authors, and I would buy everything they had. Oh, and Emily Henry, too. Oh, such good writers in the romance genre, and it's getting completely dismissed by dudes. Mm. Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. My point is that as you go out and pick up the books, enjoy the process, not just the purchase. Have fun in what you're doing because it is an awful lot of fun and then and then that's it. <laughs> it it's an easy game go out and buy consume but you can do so in a way that's um more or less socially responsible where you're helping out the businesses around you and you're helping out this community that you know you're part of again like how many minutes into this video are we if you're if you've made it this far, I can only presume that you're a bookish person who likes this kind of idea. And you would be able to go out there and support businesses that are relying on you to do this. I mean, it sounds like a great thing, and having done it, it's a lot of fun. Going out and doing this physically instead of relying on an online option. It's I think that that's the magic thing. It's very easy to get on to eBay or whatever, Biblio, and uh, and buy the books online. It's super easy. I have all of Christopher Moore novels uh, in signed first editions, with the exception of Lamb, but that's just because I prefer the edition where it's printed to look like the Bible. But I've never met Christopher Moore, and I never went to a shop in person to buy those books that were signed. Never attended a signing. These books mean a lot to me because Christopher Moore is one of my favorite authors. He's up there with Stephen King and John Steinbeck. These are like my top three. But as far as the satisfaction of getting them, it's less than going to a store and finding a copy of Night Shift. And that's just because, you know, I actually did the work and left the house. So it's, it's something to keep in mind. Unfortunately for me, and this is just me, I had to stop because I moved to Germany and Germany and in Germany I have not found any English speaking bookstores 
and the English sections of bookstores that I have found have been pretty scant, especially when it comes to Stephen King. Um, so I've had to resort to online options. But this brings up a subsection. Even with online options, I'm still going to use bookstores just online. The Golden Bough, the, <laughs> the guy that works at the Golden Bough is probably one of the most conscientious book people you're ever going to run into. And whenever anybody brings in Stephen King, the first thing he does is check my list of books that I need. And then he messages me. Hey, I just got a hardcover of the Bachman books. Are you interested? I am. Please send them to me. Like, this is good. I've made friends along the way. I've bought books along the way. And I've built up a library that I'm super stoked to just sit there and look at along the way. This is a fun game. And if you do it, please... Let me know who your author is and how much fun you're having, whether you hit any snags, did you make any friends, did you have any adventures? I want to know, because if there's one thing that this kind of thing does, is reinforce the, the bookish community, you know? So I want to know. I want to know how it works for you. So that's all. That's the author game. I hope you do it. I hope you have fun doing it. And please uh, keep me in the loop. All right? Take care. Bye.